Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Josie and this is It is Josie and you're welcome to Vlogmas Day 15. We exactly have 10 days to Christmas and I thought I would change things a little bit since I've taken from the 1st of December up to today. I've taken you through what I'm up to on a daily. I thought I would change things up a bit and record videos of DIY Christmas presents that you can make at home to give to your loved ones and also to yourself. And some of the DIY presents I'm going to be recording and showing you will be mostly skincare based or aromatherapy. Something I might not have mentioned on this channel, I'm actually a certified natural skincare formulator outside sewing. When I'm not sewing, I'm formulating skincare products for my family and for myself. I want to look at ingredients to see what I'm putting on my body and I think this is mostly driven by the career life I took. I'm a public health professional. I actually have a master's degree in public health, although not practicing at the moment. My hobbies have taken over. Some of the hobbies I've always loved, I love to work with essential oils. I'm not a doctor and I'm not a medical personnel. However, I'm a certified natural skincare formulator. That will come on with time, probably something I've not talked about, but you'll hear more about it. And I'm keen on what I put on my skin and what I put inside my body. And I'm not here to judge anyone. We make these lifestyle changes for ourselves and what we think works for us. And for today's special gift that we are going to make is going to be a bath salt. And I'm going to show you at the table the ingredients we shall need for the bath salt. And this will be a relaxing bath salt that is perfect for the festive season when you need to unwind. If you've been working hard, 2020 hasn't been the easiest year to say the least. At least we need to treat ourselves. And sometimes people don't get time to take that break to treat themselves. But at least the festive season, season offers some of us or some people out there some time to relax. And this is something you can make for someone to give to your loved ones or to give to yourself. It's a relaxing skincare product that is good to your skin. And also if you don't have a bath, don't be shaken that you can't use it. You can actually put it in a basin of water. You still enjoy the benefits that it has to offer. Hope that's something of interest to you. I'm going to show you the ingredients you need and how to prepare it. It's such an easy recipe. The one thing you will need to do is to actually buy the ingredients. I'll try to attach the recipe the description box below you don't need each and everything in the recipe you can always substitute with whatever you have on your whatever you can easily access wherever you're located okay let me take it to the table and for today's recipe you need some salts we are going to use dead sea salt and this is a good salt it nourishes dry and irritated skin and if you're a person who struggles with dry skin during the cold months this salt would really be good. It's a hundred percent pure, and I picked this up from my local store. That's the home bargain store, but it's available on Amazon. I've seen this particular brand on Amazon, but any other brand that's really a hundred percent is would work. And this is recommended for skins prone to eczema and psoriasis, so it comes in handy. A few times I've given my children a, a salt bath. Because my daughter suffers from eczema a few times during the colder months, so this comes in to soothe their skins. Then also we are going to add some Himalayan salt, and this is the pink salt if you've come across it. They call it the pink Himalayan salt or Himalayan salt, and it starts detoxifying elements in it for smooth, radiant, health-looking skin naturally rich in 80 minerals so actually the beauty with this these salts they come with other extra benefits they are rich this particular one they are rich in magnesium and calcium and potassium and most of these minerals in these salts are actually absorbed into our body when you take a bath the minerals in these salts are actually absorbed in the uh, body so it's doing two things helping you relax and actually getting some extra minerals into your body and also we shall need some essential oils and honestly one one essential oil that's key for relaxation is lavender and i could say lavender is one of the cheapest essential oils and this particular brand i bought from my local home bargains which is actually cheap it's one pound yes you'd question the cost of the oil but because lavender is one of the world's cheapest essential oils it's hard to be adulterated so when you find it cheap, at least you're in less doubt than other more expensive ones. And this is also another brand that I always buy most of my essential oils from them. This is by Inices. I'm not affiliated to them by 
by any chance but i love buying my oils from them because they stock a variety of them and also for this recipe we could honestly use just love and essential oil just one oil but i just wanted to add another essential oil that's relaxing in nature and we have cedar wood this is cedar wood himalayan it doesn't matter it's the cedar wood component is what we need himalayan shows you where it was harvested from but cedar wood is another relaxing essential oil although it's a bit pricey compared to lavender so should you just find lavender that's perfect for you to work with i'd recommend that you use a glass jar to mix up your ingredients because it's not so good to use essential oils in plastics they are recommended that you either use wood silicone or glass or stainless steel so we shall be using this pyrex jar to mix up our salt and also you need a, a container where you store your salt and this is a mason jar i picked this up from my local store home bargains and it was just 65p so it's quite affordable so this entire recipe or gift costs actually very little to make as long as you buy the salt you know you'll always use them and you won't need all of them for this for this recipe so let's go on and we shall also need a silicone spoon this is wood and silicone and that's what we're going to use to mix up this recipe and for this recipe you can i'm going to eyeball it but you can use measuring spoons or measuring cups and for this recipe you will need a cup of dead sea salt and i'm going to just put in 200 grams i'm going to go to with the 200 mark here but you can use a cup I decided not to use my cups because I use them for baking and I don't have special ones for my skincare products but this this jar is for my skincare formulations and the and the silver spacula is also for my skincare products so I'm happy to still use them here but I decided not to use my cups knowing that it would be anything bad because this salt and natural in nature then also for the Himala pink Himalayan salt we shall do half a cup I'm going with a cup of dead sea salt and then we shall go with half of that for with the Himalayan salt. So we shall do, I could say, half a, tea, a cup of the pink Himalayan salt. So with this, let me get it to 100, making it 300. And if you can tell, this is pink. And actually, I like the color it gives off. So with that, it gives you much more to work with. You give it a mix. And I realize that if you don't close it properly, it lumps up a little bit, but it's not something hard to work with with is you can still break it up with your ladles so if you mix them up actually you'll have that mixture of colors and we are going to go ahead and use 12 drops of whichever essential oil you choose now i could say approximately this could be about 300 grams of salt so you could go ahead and add our essential oils so we shall need 8 to 12 drops of essential oils love and essential oil is safe to use with children's too so it's something easy to work with so we shall go ahead and use lavender i'm going to use eight drops of lavender and four drops of cedar wood let's go on and mix you have to mix up very fast because it clumps up a bit wherever the oil has been dropped So I'm going to mix them all together, give them a good mix so it blends in. So in this lot I've used 12 drops of essential oils. If you're using just lavender, you can do 8 or 10. But because I need to add in another oil, which is optional, I've added in 4 drops of cedar wood. And also one thing we know that oil does not mix with water so if you are just going to put the drops of oil in your water they will just float on the surface but the fact that you mix them up with the salt they will actually dilute into the water with the salt which is a bonus it actually smells so nice it really smells so good i've tried to mix up everything together I don't see any more lumps where the oil went and with that we go ahead and bottle it up in our mason jar. I love using glass and also another alternative if you've got those old used up candle glasses you can recycle them for such a 
for such a project and for such a present because they actually most of them have a good seal, a good cover which will protect moisture from getting into your tin. Let's pour it into a jar. It actually smells so good. And here is our salt all mixed up. It almost made it full. You can decorate this tin, you can get your labels, just add a, a unique label to this, but you want to make sure that it seals up really well. We want to stop moisture from getting into our tin because we don't want to have a brick of salt, a block of salt in here. And this is our bath salt made up. We could go ahead and label your tin and also set it up for a present. I picked up these labels. They're just your foil gift tags and I'm use I've used one of them too write what the ingredients are which are relax which are, are a relaxing bath salt and just the instruction is just one which is add half a cup to a bath and i added it to a ribbon which i'm going to attach to our glass jar just make it pretty if you know how to design that nice ribbon go ahead and do that at least i know to cut up the ribbons use a pair of scissors just curl up those ends. Yeah, there we go. It's not the neatest, but it's cute. Yep, and these are bath salt, and I'm repurposing a basket that had some goodies in the house. And I've just added my foil paper. Can add it into that basket, and I bought some bath and body products this is a brush a nail brush that you can add on to this because once someone has had a, a bath with the salt the skin that's the best time to scrub your feet and i also have the bath and body pumice sponge it's, it softens with when it gets in contact with water and i thought this would be added additions to this present and this makes a gorgeous present that you can give to the your children's teachers or to your friends and people in your life and yeah this is a gorgeous christmas present to give to someone this is an easy present and once you buy the salts you don't have to use all of them in one go you'll keep others for yourself to use later hope you've enjoyed this tutorial of making a, a relaxing bath salt let me know what you think is this something you'd want to give, receive yourself or give to your loved ones? It's one easy to make and quite affordable. I know you'll have to buy a few ingredients, but those ingredients all don't have to be used in one go. You can make more for more people and also one for yourself. Thank you for watching. And that will be it for Vlogmas Day 15. Hope to see you here tomorrow with something else interesting and another DIY Christmas present. Until next time, tune in tomorrow for another. Bye.